Welcome back guys to Splatoon single player as we now have one more zapfish to find in this area before we have ourselves a boss with everything painted nicely yellow for us already we start stage 15 undeniable flying object blue thing sighting let's get moving it's boss time, boss time, as long as we can get past here, that is. And as we can see, there's a lovely hovering guy right in front of me, Joy. Looks like an Octo Striker Agent Free! Higher than the Ink, so you won't get targeted by the Ink Strike. Well, it's already started. It has already started. Keep firing is what I'm gonna do, and see where I can get apart from that. Let's see if I can blow you up using that nade, which was actually perfect, so brilliant. Is there going to be octolings here or anything like that? Get out of my way, sir. I'm trying to look around, see if there's any power-ups, but we don't want to go through those grates, because that would be terrible. Oops, an ink strike's just landed over there, but we found ourselves a guy in the ink below. Is there another one? No. We've got to check out this whole level, just in case we can find ourselves some form of something, but we get ourselves those balloons all the same. We will dash past that one and just about stay on the outer edge. We oh, found ourselves another enemy as well, so anywhere there's purple ink on this map seems to be an enemy or two. A very long throw there will make you run away, but won't actually get me anything. Ah! Well, nothing seems to be over here, so let's jump down and enjoy the battling. Oh, I'm in some purple ink, which is never a good thing. Let me move! Alright. Just about got away from that ink strike. Now no clue where that ink strike's landing, so forward we go! That's about the only thing I can do at this point. Uh, uh, ink strike! As we know, there's an enemy on the other side as well. There we go, taking him out. Right. Apart from that, we found ourselves a scroll. And let's abandon ship as fast as possible here to make sure that we don't get got. Right, so we got ourselves our scroll already. That's brilliant. However, we still want to get more collectibly stuff. Now, where's that ink strike landing? Over there. Okay. I was right to evacuate that area. There's a checkpoint here. Ah, run! Ultimate freedom! Flee! We must flee! Well, we took out the enemies in the meantime. Panic does work for making someone involuntarily aggressive. Ah! Get out of there! Panic is working indeed. Well, we're still finding ourselves goodies all around the place. Can we go up here? No, because that pipe will stop me actually going upwards. Can't climb any area with a nice pipe in front of it, that's for sure. Okay, we better climb up fast here. Because if that, yeah, if that comes directly on me, I'm messed up. Because, ow! There's no way for me to dive in a place like that. Oh! Well, we had our armor, so that worked out. Let's go get ourselves the goodies that way. Well, an ink strut landed on that armor. If another one comes here, we're going to have to jump to the right and abandon ship. No clue where that's landing, so let's just hope we're fine and safe and dandy. Another nade nearly lands in a horrible location, but we're fine for the moment. We just keep topping up the land. Purple ink, though, stopping me moving forward. Ah! Now ink strike stopping me moving forward. Right, anything good up here? Well, the launch pad is never bad, so let's launch ourselves away and hope the ink strike can't hit us, because here is our enemy. The mini boss before the boss boss, eh? So let's get... Sawing out a couple of them. Where's that landing? Well, it seems like I can easily hit you guys a little bit. Come on, I got him! Yes, aggression. Chasing the trail we were leaving behind has led us... To yet another zap fish, the last one for the area. And we even had ourselves a bubbler special there, did we not? So another plus ten for that. 
Level complete, scroll gain! This is the only remaining photograph of the Squid Beak Splatoon. The unknown young man folding his arms appears to be the leader. At the time this picture was taken, the Great Turf War had been raging on for over a year. But now the war's come down to one person, it seems. Asian Free is here! That should be enough! Is that fished to the boss kettle indeed? Well, let's not jump off the map by accident. That's what I was kind of worried about myself doing at that point in time. Right, so we need to now make it up high and high and high. How easy will that be? Well, if I choose the right route, it won't be too hard. That's for sure. So let's get up here first of all. Okay, jump. There we go. Follow the grate a little bit. Okay, so how much higher from here can I get? Well, there's a path. We've got the obvious path here to up to a grate. And then here as well. And then something to evacuate to get ourselves up and down when we want to, but the boss is now ours to fight. Roll with the punches. The rampaging Octoworld is ours to face in battle. Hopefully it won't crush me instantly. Let's get in there and find ourselves a very subterranean looking foe. Alright, get a little bit of ink coverage and then we'll see what happens next. Okay, where's your weak point then? By the look of it, at this point in time, I'd have to say arms. So I'm just getting out of here when this thing comes for me. Okay, there it goes. And it gets bogged down in my ink, so... Let's just keep spraying for the meantime. And get ready to get on out there. Bogged down it has become. So it's just a matter of ink coverage this time round, unless he does more. But as we've learned, they always do more. You're getting yourself out the ink, are you? And so now all the platforms move, the ink spread moves as well. So we want to mainly get the middle bit done, because, well, that's the least bit of anything here. I think he's coming. I don't know though. Okay, got he got through. But that's kind of to be expected of that little bit. Is that enough? It is indeed bogged down. Our center partition is the most important part. It's the part that starts it all and considering it doesn't move, we need to use it as home base. But now the rule of threes mean what's going to happen on phase three. We have ourselves glassed uncoverable platforms next. Let's keep stepping backwards and trying to draw him along this way, I guess. Like I need to get out of there. Whoa! That wasn't at all close, was it? I don't think I'm getting out of here. Ah, okay, this one's going to be a little bit harder. We're just going to have to keep covering stuff until we've got enough stuff covered. Is that enough? No. We have to line it all up, really. At this point in time, it's getting very hard to get it to go in. Right, let's cover up another one that hasn't been yet. He's not going to get stuck at that rate. We need to line him up with a back tile. I don't think that's going to work. I need to get the right angle from him as well.
Where is he? Oh! Maybe I should pay attention. Bogged down enough? No, still not. We just don't have enough terrain covered. And he's recovering more and more as he goes. Which is not helping out my cause here. Oh, there he finally bogged in from his own free will because he got got from the outer edge and then came on into the middle. Rule of three has been completed. Basically, just cover as much terrain as you can. As our boss explodes in Sloopy Goopy. Right then, so we claim ourselves yet another scroll, a boss scroll, which means weapon in the multiplayer mode, of course. Most importantly, though, another Zapfish is saved. Fantastic work, Agent Free! What is this nasty sensation I feel? Could it be him? I'm going to go and take a quick look for myself. By the way, I've been meaning to introduce you to Agents 1 and 2. Once we're all assembled, I'll throw a special party. <sighs> what? Why, you're... <sighs> Cuttlefish, I found you now. Wait. <sighs> Stop. <sighs> Cuttlefish, you will not interfere any longer. Radio silence. Another weapon has been obtained, sure, but... Let's find out what's going on. By creating a power surge to move us along. Alright, so where's that down there, you say? Let's get splatting and find ourselves to our next area. Right then, with one of these blocks to move us further, it seems that now these areas are getting more split apart. Or have we made it even higher? The next area has been reached! And we have ourselves a ton of invisible levels to find, six of them in fact! So we'll get on that finding next episode. Join me then for more Splatoon as we start to check out this area proper! Look around for six levels, and then, of course, complete two more. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.